Okay, so the type of flowers that we're gonna be using. Now this one right here comes from Mexico. If you can, by any chance, get this product from Mexico, I'm 20 minutes away from the border, so I can easily get this product. But my mom swears by this. She says this type of flour from Mexico makes the best flour tortillas. But for today, we're gonna be using this flour. This flour is a really great flour to make flour tortillas. Um, I'm not sure if it comes from Mexico, but there's a lot of Spanish labeling and stuff on the side of it. But uh, this, this flour does really good with flour tortillas. Now, if you can't find something like this, you can just use regular plain flour. But uh, this right here is a really good option. If you do see this, pick it up. You can actually find this in Walmart and Amazon. So uh, if you have a chance to get this, pick this up. All right, to go over what we need, we're gonna need three cups of flour, about a half of a cup of lard or vegetable shortening, one teaspoon of salt, and about, give or take, one cup of warm water. Now, we're probably not gonna use all of it, but there's times where some of my scoops of flour is a little bit more dense than other scoops, so we may need a little bit more water at the end. But we're gonna just do little by little. Okay, first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in our salt to our flour, and we're gonna give it a mix. All right, once you feel that you have a nice mix, now we're gonna be adding in our vegetable shortening or lard. Now this, what we wanna do is we wanna kind of incorporate this within the flour. Kind of like making biscuits, you know, buttermilk biscuits. It's kind of like what we're doing. We're, we're incorporating the vegetable shortening or lard into the flour. So it's gonna be real crumbly. Okay, so now that we have our flour looking real crumbly, we're gonna put a little hole right here. We're gonna drop in a little bit of our water. Say about half of that cup of water that we have right here. We'll just go little by little as we need this, and mix this together. A little bit more. Almost there. Need a little bit more water. Okay, now that we're kind of getting it all together, we're gonna bring take it out of the bowl. All right. Let's... Okay, so right here is where we're gonna go by fill. This feels a little too firm for me. So I'll be adding in just a little bit more water at a time. Let's just start kneading our dough. Now we're gonna knead the dough for about five minutes or so. a tad bit more water. All right. A little ball of wonder is looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this rest for about 15 minutes. Cover it up, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our little tortilla balls. About, about that right there. If you want them bigger, you want them smaller, just really depends on the size of tortillas that you want. These will give about medium sized tortillas, about anywhere eight to 10 inches long. All right, so that gave us 13 balls for tortillas. So what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of oil. We don't want that dough to start drying out. Just pat the top of our balls. Okay, so we'll take one of our little balls, 
flatten it out like a little disc. We'll apply a little bit of flour. Flour our surface a little bit. Okay, we're gonna roll this out very gently. This dough is nice and soft. So when I first started doing tortillas, I could not get this perfect circle. Actually putting a little bit of pressure on the end kind of helps push that little area that doesn't want to go out. Now I still don't make the perfect circle tortilla, but uh, you know, when you got years of experience like my mom that's done these, you know, it's kind of natural to her, but I'm getting better at it. Just little by little, work the dough into the shape that you're looking for. Now, like I said, I've gotten a lot better at this compared to before. All right, that's about what we're looking. I'll go ahead and take this to our comal. Okay, over our hot comal, we're gonna be laying down our tortilla. Now, I have this kind of, my, my stove is a little bit hotter than some of these burners. Uh, this is a bigger burner. I have this probably just like a touch below medium, uh, but it, this is really hot. Uh, I don't go by seconds, I just go by the look of it. As of right now, you can see the tortilla changing color, getting a little translucent. And then once it starts to kind of start puffing and it's looking right, uh, then we'll flip it. But we, we're going by color. We don't want it to burn on the bottom. As you can see, it's starting to get some bubbles. Okay, we'll go ahead and flip it. There we go. Just let this go a few seconds on this side. Okay, and we're done. All right, so let's check out the fruits of our labor. Just soft, real flexible flour tortillas. Look at it, you can just fold this up and don't crack. So uh, since these are fresh, I love to put some butter on them, you know, but uh, I got some breakfast I got to cook up. You know, I got to feed my kids. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and really learn some of the techniques. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get it all down like how my grandma used to do, but uh, really simple, just practice. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.